Okay, Geodav here with the latest version of how far I haven't got with UT40K. Now, as you can see, it, when you start the game up, well, this is a pre-build version that I'm using, but it should look the same. If not, I will do a instructional video on how to get it started and install it. So don't worry about that. Now, at the moment, we've got the shooter game loading screen. I will change this, I promise, but uh, please bear with me for the moment. Now, we use, if you don't know the shooter game, then it's one of the demos that you can download when you've subscribed to Unreal Engine 4. But we're not going to deal with that at the moment. What we're dealing with is how far I've got. Now, you can see here, there's some options in the main menu, how far they work and what they'll do for you will leave for the moment because I don't trust it in the slightest. But the main thing we want is things like host and join. So it says here for you that, that for your game types, free for all and team deathmatch, at the moment these are set to be the same. Okay, I will try to change this but trust me it's a lot of code which i don't understand and i doubt very much in the near future i'll get there but i'll do my best anyway uh you can you can add bots i wouldn't advise it but that's up to you because they'll waste you no time all right map it says here sanctuary i will change that because i have to change that via code and not via any files so I'll switch on to Spiral Prime, SG being the shooter game version, and then double click on that and start again. So here we go. You'll see in the top left it says server, and the whole HUD UI here at the moment is a bit jerky. And right, in fact, no, that's not what I was wanting. I was wanting that one. And no, that command doesn't work. Uh, let's just knock him out. And as you can see, the same same am, uh, reload action. The running and the not running is not very good. And as you can see, my Space Marine dies. Now, the main thing, apart from... Uh, that's it. All right, give me a bit of peace and quiet for a second. Now, it's not complete, as you can tell. But the main thing that I was wanting to show you is what I managed to get working in the last couple of days. Uh, here he comes again. is the simple fact if I press M at the moment I get this menu. Now I can clip, click on CWE which is Craft World Elder and again you will respawn as a guardian. Okay so if we go into AS you see there's a guardian he dies you respawn and guess who you are this time AS being Adapter Solaritus, which for some reason just disappeared. And oh, Imperial Guard, I haven't got his arms done yet. <laughs> okay, and see there's the Imperial Guard. And just get the Chaos Marine up. Yep, there we go. So... It's jerky because I'm recording. It does run a little better than this. But, and yes. And trust me, at the moment, the weapons don't have any animations. They are all exactly the same. So all the effects, the damage rates, fire rates are all the same at the moment. Uh, basically, I've been holding back on doing a lot of this work for a simple reason. I couldn't find a way to select. 
Uh, how on earth did he just walk through, go through there? Yeah, smashing. Anyway, okay, we'll leave it at that. That should, well, let, let me get out into the light. Uh, he's opening somewhere, there we go. So that's it for the moment. I will endeavour to, to get a bit more done, but once I've actually got this sort of like semi-sorted out, I'll do what I can to make a small as build as possible. Okay, so, oh, by the way, if you press escape, you get the, the normal shooter game options. Okay, so I've actually made it so I initially made the selection menu up and forgot to uh, extend it from this HUD menu. So I had to redo it all, which is very time consuming. Okay, I'll leave it at that and I'll see you in the near future, hopefully, with something for you to download.